Hello guys, my name is Anna and I want to share my experience in purchasing a 15 needle embroidering machine directly from the factory overseas. As you can see, she is sitting right behind me and I have had her now for a little bit over two months. And honestly, I have to say that I am so thankful that I took the leap of faith and decided to work with this company. The machine is a Haliyama and they have honestly been such a joy to work with. Um, I have had a few questions and mostly user error. The team at Haliyama are very quick to send videos and try to answer my questions as fast as they can. Because of the time difference, sometimes they don't reply like immediately as soon as I message them, but within a few hours, I have a response with a video from them. So after looking at the other companies that sell embroidering machines that are popular here in the US, like Rakoma and Melco, I decided that it would be the best option for my family for me to go ahead and get this machine. To order one overseas, it would still half, almost half price of what I could have gotten here. I didn't wanna finance it. It just wasn't the best choice for me at the time. So I did research and I looked through some of the other companies, but Haliyama honestly just responded super quickly. And I joined their Facebook page where I honestly just browsed through there for a while before making the decision. I think I started looking at this machine in December and I didn't actually buy it until April because I wanted to make sure that one as I wasn't going to get scammed. So I literally stalked that Facebook group and would look to see when someone ordered their machine, wait to see if they posted anything that they had received their machine. And that honestly helped my decision making so much. And that is why I want to post this video so that if anyone else is having questions about the legitimacy of this company or if you are wanting to buy a machine but just aren't sure if you should order one from overseas or just get one here it just depends on your budget um, but this machine was the best decision I could have made. So I ordered this machine on April the 13th of this year and that's when I made the payment the bank transfer. Then on April the 23rd, so that was 10 days later, is when I received a notification from Haliyama saying that they had sent the machine to the Seaport warehouse. I was super excited and I still, I didn't know, I just didn't know the process in all honesty. And it's, this is not Haliyama's fault. I was, uh, I just didn't know. Haliyama said that the shipping agent would be in contact with me. 10 days after I sent the payment, the the bank cleared everything and Haliyama sent my machine to the seaport warehouse. And they told me that I was going to have to do the ISF filing. At this point, I didn't know. I thought that I had to get my shipping agent to do that, which is not the case. So the ISF filing, you have to send the bill of ladding. It says ladding some places, loading the in others. So I'm honestly not sure which one is the correct one. It was my responsibility at this point to get the ISF filing done. I actually reached out on the Facebook group to someone that made a post that they had just received their machine. I just asked him if he could walk me through of what the steps were. He was super nice, said, go to Clear It USA and file your stuff there. They're super helpful. They will tell you what they need. So I did and that they did the ISF filing for me. There's a fee for that, that you pay directly to them. Once that is done, the machine gets cleared to get on the boat to head this way. Mine was going to the New York a month later, the machine arrives in New York. I'm trying to find out what steps to take. Again, I contacted the shipping agent. Honestly, though they that company is I wouldn't do business with them again. Um, they made the whole process a lot harder than it needed to. Had I known that I had the option, I would have just gone with Clear at USA and let allowed them to handle the whole thing for me because logistically it was hard for me to know or who to contact for what. I would contact Clear It. They would say talk to the shipping agent. I would call the shipping agent company to find out. I didn't know who was in charge of getting the machine out of the seaport 
into a warehouse who was going to go pick it up from that warehouse and then basically I didn't know how the machine was going to get from point A to point B and who was responsible for it at what time. If I was to purchase another machine tomorrow I would just go through Clear It USA for the whole shipping aspect of it because having the a third company involved it was just very confusing for me to know who I was paying for what and where their responsibility started and when they finished and I think that is the hardest part of this process if you don't get the shipping door to door but honestly now that I know it was a hundred percent worth it the embroidery machine arrived to my city for me to go pick up 11 weeks after I paid for it, which seems like a very long time. And at the time it felt like it took years, but uh, now that I look back, it really wasn't that bad. I just wanted it here now, but I did get it for a really good price with a very good customer service team. In short, I would highly recommend if you're looking into purchasing one of these machines to take the plunge and do it. I have had a great experience with them. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see the Haleyama in action, as well as tag along with me as I work from home with a little toddler, it would truly mean the world if you subscribe to my channel and you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.